Hello guys, this is the new Pro Stringer Digital. This will be a video of the unpacking, the setup, and how to collaborate the machine. Firstly, let's get to the unpacking. So the bag, very well padded, padded has come easy to unzip and, and very secure. Um, when you unpack it, it comes with the, with the foam thing that goes on top of the string machine. Here, we pull that straight away. The Pro Stringer machine comes in a nice handy bag, keeps it safe, uh, so you can see everything across the machine here. It's it's pretty light. Uh, secondly, we've got the flying clamps in this bag, so they you clip them on like this onto the string, and they they hang up in the air. All right, uh, here we have the power supply and the cables to connect this unit to the power socket uh, where this also includes a universal power adapter which is uh, international, it, it goes to most countries and I'm sure all of them in fact, all the power sockets. Uh, next we have the, the table clamp here, so you hook it up to the table like this and it goes in there. So then we have the mounting post here, which screws onto the table clamp. And on this, on here, we put on the, the rotational racket bars. So they all come with a butterfly screw and a frame retainer, which is screwed just like this. And there's two of them where they clip together. Like that. Uh, if if needed, for instance, a larger racket, you have a, f a frame extender to extend the, the these bars themselves. Um, also included in the bag are the string clippers here shown, which are pretty much nail clippers, but they work really well. Very light, very small. And lastly, we have the string pliers where. You just put for, for, for pulling the string. So this is all that comes in the bag of the Pro String Digital. So the bag also includes a really nice handy zip pocket for your strings, which which is really nice. The bag itself, when fully packed, is four kilos. So you can take it on board a flight. You can take it anywhere. Very light, easy, fits anywhere. The, the machine itself is uh, 2 kilos, so also light, you don't even need the bag sometimes. Um, and, and it has a, has a tension range of 30 to 70 pounds, so that's, that's really good. Now, now the parts on the string here, starting off, this is the string sensor right here. So you put the string through there into, into this part. Uh, this is the reset button. This itself the, is the smart tension head. So once you put the string through the sensor, it goes to the tension head. And then you press the, the tension start stop button here, where that will pull the string itself. Here is the light for the status. So when the, ten, the string is not attentioning, it's red. Or when it's on, it's also red. And when the string is in tension, accurate tension, it goes green. Uh, here are the up and down buttons for the tension, and here is the tension display. Also, at the back of the unit, you find this little socket where you, you would place the power supply into here. You plug it in here, and you would screw it on, just like this, so for it to power up. Now, to assemble the Pro String Digital, simply take the table clamp and tighten it to the table so it's nice and firm and holds to the table then you take the mounting post and screw it into the table clamp here then you grab the rotational racket bars and place it straight on top to place the racket simply take the racket find the mid points of the racket and tighten the knob here, 
to hold the racket in place. Once the racket is held, take these frame retainers and the butterfly screws and simply screw your racket so it's held in place. And the same on the other side. Now in case your racket is in longer than my racket here, you can always, always use this extender which also just plugs in into here and makes the bus longer. Now for the next part, we need to set up this, so simply um, undo the wire here and here. Well, this socket here works for me as I'm in the EU, so I don't need the universal power adapter. So I plug it into the socket, take the end of this, and plug it in the end of the machine here. Okay. And then you screw it in for it to be secure. Once that, once it's work, plugged in, you'll see the tension come up and you'll also see the status light coming as explained earlier. Once the racket is at tension, this will go green. So, as you can see on the tension display, it's 60 pounds. This can go down simply pressing the down button or the up button. To collaborate the machine, in case you have some problem with, with uh, with the tension, simply press these two buttons, it will come up with a number here, and if you need one or two pounds up, it will go up two pounds, or more, or it goes back down. And press again to put it back to the normal tension. Now, when, when you put a string through here, you usually put through the string sensor, which would go through the smart tension head. And once your string's through there, you press the blue button to tighten and to untighten. And these clamps, they would hold the string out of here. There's one thicker one and one thinner one. The thicker one is for the main parts from the first two strings and and where the parts of the racket where the string pattern is a bit wider, this will come handy. And once it gets uh, tighter inside the racket, you can use the thinner one to fit between the strings. If you would like to buy this great machine, you can visit the website, prostringer.com, and we'll put the link in the description below. Yeah.